your KD ratio in the toilet? Are you not getting those gold camos fast enough? Are you tired of being called a noob by a 12 year old in Montana? If you're not, we got you covered. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Let's Play Countdown, where we count down our favorite Let's Play videos in a specific category. Today, we're taking a look at our picks for the best Call of Duty tutorials, with a particular focus on Black Ops 3. This is a series I've done for the past couple of years on my channel, and I'm really gonna take it to the next level this year in Black Ops 3. Normally, we look at individual videos or playthrough series, but today we're ranking our favorite channels with tips, tricks, and more for making you a better COD player. Lock and load. The perk too, we're going for fast hand, my friend. Being able to switch weapons quickly is nice, but the main benefit is aiming faster after sprinting. Number three, Merc Music. Highlights, map tutorials. And these combat axes will actually bounce off of the parkour wall over there that you can use to wall run and hit people on B. Oh. Creative videos, great advice, and some sweet gameplay. What else could you ask for in a Let's Play? As an infotainment professional, I can tell you that half the challenge in creating informative content is making sure it's not boring as hell. And Merc does a good job of making his tutorials pretty damn fun to watch. Oh, and this shit's pretty cool too. You can blow up cars with the combat axe. Oh, okay. Yo, the tomahawk. Oh my god! <gasps> yes! While he creates fewer videos focused on building your skills, his map tutorials are insightful and entertaining. Not a lot of people know that there's actually kind of a secret hidden wall run under B flag. If you miss the platform, don't worry because you can just use your boost to get on a wall run right below B flag in domination. Whoa, crazy! And he's got a great myth busting video too. <gasps> oh! I got it! That was sick! Dude, you that was awesome! It. Yeah! Confirmed, you can destroy a Hellstorm missile with a combat axe. Given how many quick scoping montages you're likely to find throughout YouTube, it's ironic that this is probably the only player that we'll see today that specializes in using sniper rifles. And if someone's out in the open, you might even get a lucky kill. <laughs> While Merc creates fewer tutorial-focused videos than the rest of our entries today, he's actually very much for the people, and loves to showcase anti-camping points on his channel. You can try to use this little jump shot to try to hit a really lucky shot on someone camping in there. And their reaction will be, Oh my god. His map tutorials will have you brandishing that sniper rifle till sundown and rocking the best angles to get the drop on your enemies. Not to mention using those sweet wall run spots to get around town. Nuketown, that is. As you can see right now, I'm using wall running to get across the map in a faster, more fluid way, but you can also use it to get out of your spawn safer. Number four, Alley A. Highlight, best class setup series. We were jumping into the attachments, perks, kill streaks, and all of that good stuff. So straight up, optics. I actually go for no optics on this weapon. The most popular and viewed channel we'll see today, Ali A is certainly not camera shy, and he definitely likes to show off his collection of sweet lids. Ali A often gets the personal invite to Activision events, alongside the cream of his contemporary crop to see the alpha and beta builds before many of us mortals get to. He also delivers big time with his recommended class setups, his tips and advice, as well as the chance to learn from his gameplay, getting us all one step closer to those sweet, sweet kill streaks. This will start you with a little bit of a bonus in terms of your scores, which means getting that UAV is going to be a little bit quicker, and just builds you on that sort of set to getting your kill streaks as quickly as possible. And I like it just to get that sort of boost at the beginning of the game. He's got some pretty serious skills, but he's more than ready to share the wealth as he spills the details on his personal strategy and gives us insight into his own mindset and tactics in setting up his weapons and perks. And I'm always moving around while using an SMG, and these attachments work really, really well for me. Trust me. While some might argue that his fashion sense and the use of blaring house music kind of pushes him into the style over substance category, his class setup videos will definitely give you the edge, and not just in Black Ops 3. I love using a headset, so it means I can pinpoint those enemies really, really easily. If you're just using TV sound, maybe those perks won't help you quite as much, but if you are getting into using headsets and listening to sound a little bit more, then definitely use it. Number three, T. Martin. Highlight, Gun Guide series. The Man of War Assault Rifle is an absolute monster. It's definitely a favorite among pub players. It's a favorite among pros. It's like, you know, everybody loves this weapon and that's why I wanted to start off with it. Anyone who's ever played Call of Duty knows that speed and timing is everything and no one knows that better than this fast talking slayer. This weekend right now is double XP. So obviously you want to try to take advantage of that as much as possible. And that's why I wanted to bring you guys this video so you can get a lot of XP this weekend, but you can also use these tips moving into the you know following weeks when there's not double XP and stuff like that. We gotta give T. Martin props for his rapid fire style and fast moving gameplay, dealing out a surprising amount of detail in a relatively short video. T. Martin covers several of the key points of his contemporaries, and while he might not go into the same amount of depth, he serves them all up in a nice deliverable care package. 
Uh, the long barrel is also pretty good in this thing. The laser sight isn't bad if you hip fire a lot. And then finally, fast mags is also a good option for all those close quarter gunfights. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That, my friends, is the VMP in Black Ops 3. If he's good at one thing, it's hammering home key points and using on-screen visuals to make all the key stats very clear. Next up, let's talk about the damage. So this thing has a three-part damage profile. It does 30 damage from 0 to 14 meters, 23 damage from 14 to 28 meters, and then 19 damage after 28 meters. For more experienced players committed to their online performance, his Black Ops 3 gun guide is the place to be. But if you're newer and just need some general knowledge to get you onto the battlefield, he's got you covered with Black Ops 3 tips and tricks. Take a quick look at the series, it's almost guaranteed to make you a better Call of Duty player, a better gamer, hell, even a better person. Probably not. I'm gonna jump. I'm holding RS right now because I play on tactical, so right stick is, is how I slide. And then I let it go before I hit the ground, but because it's kind of like a queued up feature, I'm still gonna slide when I hit the ground. So just you know, know that. That's how you can do like sideways slides and backward slides and stuff like that because you don't have to hold down the slide button the entire time. Number two, JX23. Highlights, Gold Gun Weapon Guide Series. overflowing with personality, JX23 is pretty simple. He's skilled, he's detailed, he's not afraid to show off. Most popular throughout the COD community for his gold gun weapons guides, JX puts in the time on his guns to earn the gold and in some cases diamond camo for his weapons, then gives you the complete lowdown on how to use them effectively and unlock those pimpin' camos for yourself. The strongest playstyle with this LMG is the juggernaut or tank style approach, meaning there's low movement, but you are difficult to deal with. While you might notice some similarities between this entry and the last one we just saw, JX's calmer, clearer delivery just barely gives him the edge over the competition. Plus, those sweet cinematic openings don't hurt either. Giving you the bare bone stats mixed with his own personal brand of style and mayhem, anyone jonesing for bragging rights on their maxed out guns should look here for the fastest way to become an absolute beast. When it comes to score streaks, as with most shotguns, although you might rack up some nice kills, it's unlikely going to be from going on long kill streaks. I'd suggest keeping your score streaks low and easy to obtain. Number one, Drifter. Highlights Black Ops 3 In-Depth series. Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 3 In-Depth. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you all of the Redwood wall run spots. When it comes to getting into the nitty gritty and the fine details to make you a better player, nobody beats Drifter. Be prepared for a lot of tests in today's episode, but for now, let's start off with assault rifles. An engineer by trade, his signature series, Call of Duty In-Depth, is just that. And his wicked attention to detail goes far beyond your average consumer. He practically dissects the game's code to bring the program's stats to light. LMGs get about an 85% reduction in range with the addition of a suppressor, and the Gorgon might even get like a 90% reduction. Very, very massive reduction. This Call of Duty master has made a name for himself by delivering the most in-depth analysis of weapons, from range to damage to attachments to perks to killstreaks and obviously the newly added specialist. Let's start off with the important facts first, and that is the damage. It'll deal 40 damage up close, decrease down to 29 at medium range, and deal 22 damage at very long distances, giving it the highest in-class damage for pistols. While Drifter doesn't mess around, he does take the time to delve beyond the stats to reveal some of the hidden strengths to certain weapons. You really want to treat it like a full auto DMR. Like if you treat it like a fully automatic Shiva or something like that, it's an awesome weapon. You really get the feeling that even though he goes into the minute detail, details of the weapon stats, they aren't just a collection of numbers to him. They're a fascinating part of the game that he loves and wants to share with all of you. For his unparalleled ability to dissect the very foundations of the game, he scores the highest and gets to the top of our list. Overall, I may not be using the suppressor very much. Like in previous Call of Duty games, I was my bread and butter. I ran that on so many weapons. This year, I think it's going to be collecting a lot of dust. Guys, that is all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something useful. So, which channels do you check out to step up your Call of Duty game? And what other topics should we cover next? As always, for more gaming videos published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. It's very easy to do, so I expect all of you guys to start making use of this.